welcome back to my channel, Danielle here, and I am with Luisa. She came into town, and so, of course, y'all know if she ever comes to LA, we always have to go thrift hopping. So, we're probably gonna hit up just a couple today because she does have to get back to her family soon. So, let's go to stop number one. Cutting in real quick to talk about today's sponsor, which is Cerebral. They are a mental health platform that provides clients with access to ongoing online prescription medication management, counseling, and therapy for anxiety, insomnia, depression, and other conditions, all for a flat monthly rate. And treatment for ADHD, bipolar, and PTSD are available in certain states. Cerebral does have a ton to offer. A few things are online convenience and privacy, so you're able to have visits with your provider, your therapist, your care counselor from the comfort of your own home whenever it's most convenient to you. Another thing is comprehensive care. They do have a care model that's designed for long-term treatment, which includes integrated behavioral and medication therapy. So your doctor and your therapist are talking to provide you with the best care possible. Lastly, and most importantly, to me at least, is affordability. Cerebral is affordable with and without insurance. So if you do plan on starting therapy with them, it can cost three times less than traditional therapy services. And they do this by providing a flat monthly rate at an affordable price. Cerebral does offer three plans. So I'm gonna go ahead and put them up on the screen, but just keep in mind that some plan options and instant live visits are only available in certain states and locations. There is a questionnaire that'll help determine which plan is best for you, and it does touch up on your sleep schedules, connection with other people, your appetite, but it is fairly easy and simple to get through. Cerebral is super easy to download. They do have a convenient mobile app on Google Play and the App Store, so it's like having a mental health team on call whenever you need them. So if you wanna take the next step in working on your mental health, go ahead and click the link down in my description. It'll get you started on that questionnaire and connected with the provider. And cool part is that your first month will start at only 30 bucks. But thank you so much to Cerebral for sponsoring this video. Let's get back to our thrift haul. Immediately as I walk up, there's all this denim, all these jackets. What the freaking heck? a one piece I think it might be like a school outfit but it's kids I feel like it might fit like an extra small small so I think I'm gonna risk it because imagine with some fishnets my demonias oh hell yeah it's gonna look so cute Luisa found this and it's so freaking adorable if you guys are familiar with my backdrop I have a pink Kit Kat clock and it's the male one. She just found the female version with freaking eyelashes and a pearl necklace. It's so dang cute. This girl has been drinking coffee 
Dan ben je je pikt niet aan. Look at her lips. <laughs> she oh. don't even care though. This lipstick is a replica from the 1970s. Ooh. Actually, what? 1920s. <laughs> <laughs> but you guys, she was showing me this thrift oh. find of hers. She scored these at the bin. Look at these freaking jeans. What the heck? And they're backless. Yep. They're backless? <laughs> Your eyes tricks will show. <laughs> There's no patch pockets. These are so damn cute. Hey, y'all. It is a day after hanging out with Luisa, and I have a whole haul here. I picked up surprisingly a lot of fall essentials with like muted prints and colors. And also, I went to a thrift store later that night with Arthur, and he found so many cute things for me. So let's just go ahead and get started with item number one. Let's start off with the cutest item of this haul. Look at this. So dang cute. So Arthur actually found this one and it's just this like plushy, pillowy Hello Kitty backpack. It also wasn't tagged when he found it. So I was just like, oh. knowing Los Angeles, they're probably gonna just see Hello Kitty and price it hella expensive, but it was only $1.99. It is kind of messed up. Like we have a little bit of the threading coming undone there and it does have weird stains on the ears. I also haven't washed it yet. It says to spot clean it, but I'm honestly just gonna toss it into the washer. And I don't really care if it gets even more messed up just because I don't plan on wearing it. I just want to showcase it in my side of the loft just because I love collecting thrifted Hello Kitty things. So a while back ago, I thrifted this little Hello Kitty bobblehead thing. She's a little messed up, but she was only like two bucks. So I was just like, she's coming home with me. So we're entering fall now. And if you guys are familiar with Goodwill's boutiques y'all know that they just raise the prices incredibly high especially on eccentric pieces that look like they could belong or like fulfill costumes so i actually found this leather vest in the costume section and it was so expensive but anytime i find like a smaller size good quality leather piece I have to pick it up. I can't leave it behind. And I've seen vests everywhere on Instagram and on Pinterest, but this one is just so freaking cool because it has braids on the front. It is a snap enclosure, but look at this lace of detail in the back. I just thought that was really cool and flirty. Let's move on to some neutrals now. Let's show this one off here. I think it might be a kid size because it is labeled a size large, but it looks like it could fit a smaller medium. But it does have an all over paisley print with this like tie dye background print, but these sleeves. Oh yes, totally fell in love with them and they do have a little lettuce edge trim and then a lace detail around the cuff. The one item that I've been trying to manifest anytime I go thrifting are just some like wide leg beige cords because I feel like if I paired it with the shirt, it would look so dang cute. And then this next one, I was, I don't know. I wasn't sure about this one, but I know a lot of you guys are into like trashy, Y2K, very playful. So I took this one with me. They had a medium and a large, but I left the large behind and took the medium with me. It is just like a thermal knit long sleeve shirt and it has love plastered right on the front with little hearts. And the best part is that it is outlined with embellishments. My first instinct was just to crop it and make it a little bit more flirty and feminine. But now looking back, I don't know if I even wear like full length shirts anymore. Like even now, I feel like this is the shortest I've ever gone. And this is more of like a bra top length. But let me know, do y'all have more crop tops or full length shirts in your wardrobe? Because I think I'm gonna have to start balancing them out now that we're entering fall. Up next is this knee length skirt. It does have an all over paisley print, but this is the brand Sansuchi? Susie? I don't know how to say it, but I was just like, why does this brand name sound so familiar? And first of all, it's carried by Dolls Kill. But secondly, it's because I actually applied to work for them, but what the heck? Oh my God, y'all. Sometimes I really love downtown and others I really, really do hate it, but you never get a moment of silence. There's always just horns blasting, cars going off, people yelling, oh my goodness. Okay, but before we were rudely interrupted, they rejected my resume and too bad for them because I would have been a great employee. Yes, let's work our way into a really fun piece. So if you guys are familiar with my hauls, y'all know that I love shirts or tops that have vents in them. So like little slits either on the front or the sides. And look at this one that I picked up. It's this blue color that is a color I don't usually gravitate towards, but I love the contrast stitching that it has. And look at this vent here in the front. I think that is so fun. Kind of gives me like an iconic Y2K celebrity moment. And it is just a camisole, so we have adjustable straps a square neck and it also has a built-in shelf bra which is awesome because any sort of like camisoles or tops that have like really thin straps like this i mean if you could avoid extra bra straps why not right i don't know how you guys are gonna feel about this one but i do have a poncho 
I feel like the last time I wore a poncho, I was a preteen and I think they're coming back. I don't really know, but as soon as I saw the color and how bold it was and that it was covered in sequins, I was just like, Okay, yes, absolutely. And if you also watch Sarah Dunk here on YouTube, she had a haul where she styled a poncho and I was just like, I am sold. Next time I see one, it's gonna go right into my cart. So now I have this green one. I know it's giving me kind of more summery spring vibes, but if we style it with some like cooler toned pants and some boots, easily transitions into fall. This next piece here is moving more into sweater territory and this one does have the logo branding right on the front and it's super sparkly too which I absolutely love but anytime I do see these like brands that are like right in your face and super noticeable I think about how I took this course in community college and how it pretty much said that lower and middle class levels usually wear things or like flex things about your money and achievements so like Middle class is more likely to have a UC Davis alumni license plate or wear clothes that says DKNY jeans to flex how much money we have and how like actual rich people don't even try with their clothing and are very minimal with their style and their taste because they don't have to prove that they're rich. They already know they are, which is so true. But I don't want to go off tangents here, but I do have a story about that. But back to this sweater. I think it's very cute and I would rock this any day. Usually when I go into the thrifts, I don't spend a lot of time in dresses just because in Los Angeles, dresses are so expensive. They're usually around eight to $15, so that's sometimes out of my budget. But I know for fall, maxi dresses are gonna be coming in, especially these like vintage granny maxi dresses. Try to get your hands on one. And so I found this one here that has a scoop neck, a button front closure, and a tie detail in the back. So this is gonna be really nice just to cinch in as little as much as you want. But these are gonna make such good layering pieces and with some dots, a leather jacket, you're gonna be all set to go. Made it to the last item of this thrift haul, y'all, and they're just a classic pair of Lee jeans. I actually love picking up Lee at the thrift store and it's mainly because of the styling cut of the jeans they have. So it tends to be a high waist and more room for hips. And for someone like me who does have a little bit more hip, I know that I don't even have to measure it. I know I can always just be able to pull them up, but these do have a high waist a tapered leg, and then they have more of a vintage wash to them, so they are a little bit more faded black. But I feel like these are especially cool because we have a lot of seam details going on here in the back. And so I was like, ooh, that's different. But you guys, that pretty much does it for the end of this fall thrift haul. If you liked any pieces, let me know in the comments down below. Also, super exciting, I'm gonna be headed to Chicago on Wednesday. So if any of y'all are in Chicago, and you want to meet up to thrift with me, hit me up on Instagram. I am at Twinnell here. Or even if you do know really cool thrift places that are worth checking out and that are cheap, also let me know down in the comments or again, hit me up on Instagram. But if you were interested in any of the items that I showed today, they will be available on Whatnot. So just hit the link down below, visit my profile, save a show or two. I do at least four live streams a month and then my next one is gonna be full of all my Chicago finds, which should be pretty fun. So come join the next one. If you guys are interested in Cerebral, just click the link down below to start your first month for only $30. As always, y'all, I do post videos at least once a week. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!